Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Previously in the Cat Lady, some tragic events happened to Liz, and then we saw Dr. X's true colors. Ah, uh, we're back here again. Candles. Is that me? Or is that someone else? I don't quite understand that scene. Now I seem to be in the abyss. It's a hospital body bag. It's gonna be mean again, isn't it? It's me. I guess this happens every time I die. <laughs> you treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you. And you stabbed me to death in cold blood! You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it up on the wall? My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in an old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. He brings some victims down here in hospital body bags. A piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. I'll be borrowing that. Sorry. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. I wonder why no one's ever noticed this. It was even locked? Well, of course. I'm not a prisoner here. You found I was dead. Well, technically we were dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc. Because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. You should have predicted that in fact I would respond because I'm tied to death itself. Chair? If I don't find anything else, maybe I can use his chair as a weapon. That's a pretty weak chair. Lucky I didn't sit in it. Still, this wooden leg might be of some use. It just needs a bit of an edge to it. I feel like we're in some kind of twisted version of MacGyver. There's an old bar of soap on one of the shelves. It's covered in lever now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Ah! 
wondering if every parasite's a killer of some kind. Hmm. I've seen something like this before. With living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. It seems to use a lot of makeup to turn her into this spitting image of Mona Lisa. A fake skeleton. It'd probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. A large male bolt lies on one of the shelves. We're collecting quite a few items right now. The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Come back here. This is where I'm gonna craft my weapon, apparently. Oh my god. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctors and bottles will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? I guess he couldn't get a hold of an airman, so he used his creepy baby doll instead. I could probably find some use for this. Somehow. I actually have no idea why we took the baby doll's head. It seems this place has been closed down for a long time. Whoops. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is, stuck in a metal rod. Looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or... Was she really there? Just already dead? So it does, yeah, turns out Liz was a ghost. I kind of figured. As soon as we went out onto the roof and she had blood on her, I thought... This isn't happening, you know what I mean? I think the doctor would be stupid enough to just leave it there. Everyone he takes is already dead, obviously. That's the exit, and let's go check out the other area I went by. Who's screaming? Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. A ring? Or a bolt? A metal nut is stuck in her finger like a ring. I could pull it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Oh no, we have to cut it, don't we? No, we just use soap. That's a little bit better than that. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Let's open it quietly. We have very deep pockets. You know, I think I'm gonna make my weapon first. No, I'll just go here. Oh, I don't no. need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, 
for this is by far my favourite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. He's... he's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me. Who understand the only pure and true form of art. How did this go downhill so fast? I should go make my weapon right now. I'm right back. I'm making some kind of weapon here. Alt. Weapons complete. So I have a mace and a spear right now. The mace weapon seems a little bit morbid. I showed that baby doll head on top there, and it's kind of it's kind of a bit much. Slowly. They even give us an option to have a one-liner before we do this. That's a bit cliche. That's fine enough. You'll feel a sharp scratch. You're right now. You don't have to deal with this sick fuck and his interpretive dances. He finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. I've just saved this girl's life. But why do I still feel so... angry? I can kind of see why the... Queen of Maggots basically said... That you have to kill all of them. He would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Who are you? They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. No relation to Catwoman. Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. I don't think we actually have a good idea why she does want to kill herself. Aside from just an overall depression in life. 
We had some options there to pick. But each one of them still left me a bit vague. And a lot of times depression suicide actually has that vagueness to it, so... Oh. First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I'm dying for a shower. Something to eat. Some coffee. A cigarette. I'd love to see my cats, too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived, after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy... little things in life. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. One step at a time. That painting doesn't look quite normal. What's this? Old poems of mine. I used to write them when I felt really sad. This one here, River. I must have been reading it the night I took the pills. Why is there still a part of me that wishes I'd never got out of that hospital alive? Kind of odd stress based puzzle. There's some loose change inside. I better take it. Five pounds. Is that all I've got left? Damn. Won't get any more money for at least another two weeks. Where can I spend it all? Oh, there's a pack of cigarettes here as well. You're coming with me, my little poisonous friends. So I gotta get myself relaxed. Okay. Here we got some light. Take a shower. I think a bath would be more relaxing? No, let's just do the shower. That's what she wants to do anyway. Standing by the river, I smile. Will I miss it all? No. I'll be glad to leave it behind, and never come back. That feels better. I should grab some food. When was the last time I ate? I'm starving. She looks pretty good in this outfit. Mirror is screwed up. Hopefully there's no traps here that suddenly make me all suddenly tense. Toilet clogging. Stress goes up. Let me get some lights on. I stopped paying my phone bills a long time ago. Now I can no longer make outgoing calls. Just as well. I've got no one to call anyway. Kettle, microwave, oven, a cupboard, a fridge. Kettle's empty.
Box of matches, tin cat food. Drink white there. Corkscrew and close coupling. Maybe I could feed my cat. Let's do that. Hey, let's just take everything. I don't need it right now. See if we can find my cat's food dish. Piano? Is that my cat up there? Seems like it. Cat, where are you usually fed? Cat ball, cat ball. Where is my cat ball? It's my closest. Cat clock. I don't see a cat ball around. Maybe it was in the kitchen. Volleyball. Just some clothes and shoes. I don't need any of these. These are for my cats. If the windows are shut, they can always enter through the vents. Balcony. Piano. Neighbors don't like me playing piano, huh? I guess Eric is one of the big motivational factors in her personality. Where is the cat bowl? Huh. Kill's empty. So fill that up. Full cold tap water. Switch that on. I need an empty mug. Let's see what's in the fridge. Cheeseburger milk. Take this cheeseburger. It's a true American thing to do. Jeep core powder of cheese. Cooking instructions. Remove the packaging and place in the microwave oven. You hear one oven. 60 seconds. 751 oven. 90 seconds. 650 watt. Huh. It's 800 watt microwave oven. So... The question is, if I just used this randomly, would she have just put it with the paper and all? To start a house fire? 60 seconds. Okay. I have a cooked burger. Yummy. Mmm, McDonald's. That helped me a bit. What's in the balcony? There's a mug. I used to hang clothes here, but we're dry when the weather was good. 
It's broken now, like everything else in this damn flat. It's really depressing. These are for my cats. I always put the food out for them once they're here. I thought I put it away. Damn thing. I wish it just disappear. But here it is. Reminding me of the past. It had to have been a gift from Eric or something. It used to be a pretty shirt once, and that was about 15 years ago. So if I can't close this window. Most of them are gifts from old friends. People that have long forgotten about me. I can hardly remember them too, to be honest. It all happened in every life, and in every time. The one with clouds I actually painted myself. I think I liked it then. Now I can't even look at it. At some point in my life, I must have thought I could fill the empty gap of this cat-related junk. Sometimes I think it's actually this clock that keeps me awake with the constant bobbing back and forth. But I never had a heart to get rid of it. Just constantly depressing stuff. This is where I used to escape from my problems. To sleep just became another problem too. It's funny how our little comforts in life can easily turn against us. I think that's a feeling a lot of people have had. Sleep is definitely something that can work against you at some point. Hanging this shirt out in the rain. Damn it, I keep doing that. Coffee friend drink whitener. Now it's a perfect mug of coffee. I don't need it right now. I don't need it right now. We got some coffee and we got some cigarettes. So we can't play for the cats, but I guess that comes later. It's this damn bird again. Go away! Shoo! <laughs> That's right. And don't ever come back, you horrible creature. Miss Scarecrow here is going to guard this home from the likes of you. All right. Coffee first. Cigarette after. It tastes great. You can only taste better with a cigarette. I'm back in my old life. But how can I restore what's been broken for years? So far, nothing seems to go right. Every little thing is against me. Maybe it's my destiny to lose after all. And now those parasites? Like if it wasn't enough, but I killed Dr. X. And I saved somebody's life. That felt good. It's getting late. I should summon the cats now. I want to see them tonight. Alright, that helped us a little bit. Caffeine and cigarettes. Every morning, not the best of habits. Standing by the river, I close my eyes. One jump, and I'm there. But I think it's one of those things, the little things in life that make you a little bit happier, I guess. Bit of a ritual. Now, 
Someone jumped after me. He will never be my friend. Cats always pay a visit when I play the piano. It's really late, but do I really care? Relaxation's almost maxed. Summon the cats. The song of my people. You know when I said that cat lady thing after I killed the doctor? Especially with all these cats coming around? This really reminds me of Tim Burton's version of the cat... of Catwoman. This cat's a little bit... a little too big compared to those windows. Come inside, my darlings. I've missed you. And who's that? Teacup! I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Well, make yourselves at home. Dinner is ready to be served. Life isn't too bad. Being in the company of the cats is not one of the worst things that can happen. Come on, everybody. Gather around. It's time for dinner. A little bit of smoke and coffee break every morning. Feeding the cats on the... I mean, it's actually kind of romantic in a weird way, this rain. These are for my cats. I always put the food out for them once they're here. Plus she gets to play the piano. You never eat my food, Teacup. Already had your dinner, have you? Teacup is most similar to us. No, I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. The only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. I appreciate it. You should know. If you could know what I've been through lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. But I'm here now. In my flat. Alive. And it's still the same mess that it's always been. I'm not sure how to deal with all this anymore. Don't know if I can. I wish I could be like you. At peace with the world. Always smiling. Who can that Someone's be? At the door. But who could it be so late at night? Someone to come complain about my piano playing. Despite how nice it sounded. I feel like Teacup is that kind of loyal cat. A loyal stray. I actually had a loyal stray like that that was a black cat. Didn't want anything in return. Hello, Baldy. Are you out of your mind? Oh, you know fuck you, mate. Is? We've all had it with you and your bloody cats. Get your fucking ass down out of fucking out of here. Kick your fucking ass. Complain about my fucking piano. Fucking A. Let's see. If I get mouthy with him, I don't know if it's get my stress up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Some of us have to get up early for work. You think it's okay to make noise at this time of the night? Oh, yeah, I do. On. Don't exaggerate. I did play the piano, but only for a minute or two. Enough to wake me up! And this is not the first time either! Don't like it, just fucking move again, out. If you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty! I didn't realize it was so late. I won't do it again. Maybe you should get yourself a bloody watch then, yeah? There are other people living here, you know. People with jobs. If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty. Okay, fine. I'll keep it down. Good night. Get fucked. Damn cat lady. They should lock her up somewhere. Fucking nutcase. Okay. That worked out. Good thing I didn't tell him to fuck off. Would have been nice though. I think that would have been more relaxing. 
than the other option, but you know. saying I don't have a job. Some of our jobs are a little bit eccentric. You go to an office every morning, I get killed and respawn in some kind of serial killer's basement, then I whack him over the head with a saw. One is much more satisfying than the other. Standing by the river, I'm thinking. Will I jump again? No. I will float like a feather. Far away from here. So that's it for the cat lady, part four. When we killed Dr. X, I really don't know his motivation for just killing people. I guess he was just, just that fucked up. But at least we got rid of him, anyway. So things worked out in the end. I like Susan as a character. I think she's actually pretty relatable. Compared to uh, Joe from the past game, who was kind of always very vague in his intentions. And, you know, at the end you find out why that's the case. Susan is just kind of a very down-to-earth, uh, more realistic person. And you can kind of root for her in this kind of story, I guess. It's a much more human story than Downfall, at the moment anyway. Aside from the comical, over-the-top murders and serial killers, that's a bit out there. But the main heart of the depression kind of suicide story is very down the earth. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for The Cat Lady, Part 5. <laughs>